Well, good morning and welcome back to the channel. It's about mid-April here in Fairbanks, Alaska. It's 27 degrees and it's uh, time to pull the hard pack off my driveway area. So you can see all around, we, we've still got uh, four or five feet of snow piled up in the snow banks. And then I've got anywhere between four inches to maybe a, a foot of hard pack all over my parking lot and my driveway area. So I'm gonna go ahead and start scraping that off with my box blade. And so what I do is I use my box blade with the, uh, the scarifiers on it to help loosen up all this hard pack and then uh, stack it up in a big pile. So you can see I've got my scarifiers set real aggressively uh, in the forward position. And uh, you can use them in reverse too. I've done that too. It really helps pop the pack up. But to move a little quicker, if you have them uh, in this forward position, it really digs under too. Unless you have some uh, pack that's really hard to get up, something that's really aggressive. Okay, welcome back to the Katmai Kubota B2650. Now before we get started with the hard pack removal, I'd like to take a moment to recognize Joseph over at Garden Tractor Boy channel. He's got a channel over in the UK where he restores antique garden tractors. He does some amazing work. He has a uh, shop Wednesdays, I believe it is, and he's putting out videos several times a week. And uh, him and his family just do a really great job. You can tell they're really dedicated and they enjoy repairing these old garden tractors. So if you get a chance, check out their channel. I'll try to put a link up here somewhere. Sometimes the links don't work. And Joseph, this is just a great sticker. This one's my favorite here. You, you sent me two, thank you for that. Okay, Joseph, I got your sticker mounted right back there on the back of the tractor, right next to Dave's sticker and MJA doing stuff. So thanks for that sticker again. Let's uh, let's get started with today's project. You can't stop me now. I use a 66 inch Land Pride box blade. My biggest complaint with the old Land Pride box blade is the spring clips that hold in the scarifiers. Now if you've ever messed with these uh, spring clips, you know they're a real pain. They like to fly off. You have to use a tool to get them out. And if you lose one, well, it's just going to fly off into the bushes somewhere or worse into the snow. MJA doing stuff has a great solution. He's come up with a way to hold these spring clips in. I'll have to put a link to the video up here. Uh, see if you guys check it out if you get a chance. The other thing I really need to add to this setup would be a power top link. It can be kind of a pain when I have to switch it between scarifiers and blade. Overall, I'm really happy with my Land Pride uh, box blade. It's held up pretty well over the last, I think, four years I've owned it. You know, I've lost a bolt on one of the blades before, uh, but nothing major. The blade edges have held up, and I use it every winter.
I uh, pretty much uh, gone as far as I can today. I got the hard pack up, but uh, back in December, we got a bunch of rain, and so it created this layer of ice. You can see it right there. It's like a glacier under here. And that ice is, it's pretty thick, and <laughs> there's no way to pull that up with my tractor. So that's just gonna have to melt and be uh, sloughed off as it gets a little slushy out here. But the rest of the driveway's looking much better. Got it back down to back down to the ice layer. All right, so thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to tune in next time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. See ya. <laughs>